rings, the rings, the rings of fire. Hey guys, so this is a, another favorite total body strength training drill that I like to incorporate after my back training. So these things that hang over the back of the bra here, yeah, when you train those babies, I like to incorporate the rings, the rings. Now I love these guys because they keep you honest. You cannot cheat using the rings. And if you do, you'll either A, injure yourself, or B, you'll crash and burn on them. It's not a good look. Not a good look at all. And the injuries are not nice either. It's soft tissue stuff. Mm, it's gonna take a long time to heal. So you wanna be really careful, especially if you're new starting out with the rings. But that's what I love about them is that they are challenging. Oh, and you don't really need to perform many reps. Like I'm talking a rep range of three to five to really knacker the body, which is another reason why I like the rings. Now you do need to have some underlying base strength when it comes to approaching the rings, like your primary and your stabilizing muscles definitely, but more so your fascia and your tendons. So you need to have good condition with those guys because if you don't, you're at a high chance of injury, tearing, pulling, straining, and you don't want that, not if you're beginning with the rings. So I thought I'd make a little note on that because, yeah, that soft tissue stuff takes a long time to heal. Like, not, you know, a couple of days, I'm talking, I don't know, 3, 6, 12 months. It takes a long time to heal soft tissue injuries. And I'm not talking about pulled muscles, I'm talking injuries, which is not nice. Not nice, not nice at all. Now with the rings, guys, it's super important that you treat them with respect. These are not a toy. As playful as they are, and they are a lot of fun, it's super important that you don't go balls out on them. You have to work in progression, you have to work in partials, and you need to take the whole training on these slow. It's a little different from going in and picking up a weight and curling a dumbbell. That is skill too, that takes skill too to do it properly. But these are definitely a sort of another tier of skill. The whole purpose for the ring is to keep the rings as still as possible. And it's the same, it's like keeping the mind as still as possible. Because if you're distracted or you're thinking about your groceries or whatever, which you shouldn't be doing if you're training well and training hard and smart, nothing should be entering your mind except for what it is that you are feeling or lifting or pushing or pulling. Because if you've got other thoughts going on in your head, then you're not focused, your training's not focused. You need to be focused. If you're not, you're going to injure yourself or you're just going to shortchange your training. If you want to be zen-like, <laughs> like I try to incorporate into my training, that's the whole point, is to find that stillness. You guys, you want to use strict form, no momentum, no bouncing, no shaking, no wobbling. It's very hard to do on the rings. In this combination drill, I'm working on back as well as hip and abdominal compression and also overall total body strength. But uh, all of the movements can actually be learnt on the floor before even approaching the ranks. So if you guys want me to film some partials or progressions, floor progressions, let me know in the comments and I will do that for you. Mm, other than that, let's get into it. So guys, this is the combination drill I've been working on. Not the most flattering angle I know. Classy. At the top of the position, this is a piked hang, and then a mini transition row to a V up hold, down to a slow controlled L sit hold, and then a slow controlled negative down to a hanging 90 degree leg raise. Now, it's a great mind-muscle connector, as your whole body, your core, will be under constant tension throughout the whole movement. Now, there's no rest until your feet touch the ground. The goal is time under tension. So the slower you perform this exercise, the better the overall strength gain, and the more you will feel each part of your muscle groups working. The strength opportunity exists in the negative part of this movement. So you want to try a lowering speed of about a four-second count. Doing so will help you to mentally bond with the muscles, you know, strengthening that mind-muscle connection. Now it looks easy, but it gets the heart rate up. In this particular rep, my heart rate was up at around about 157 beats per minute. Oh, this movement here, I'm having a little bit of a play, and that's working the right side, which is my 
weakest side because I use it more often. So yeah, doing some focus work here and bringing up the strength on my right side. Also, you want your movement to be fluid and as smooth as possible. You never want to bounce or jerk out of a position. Doing so is really bad form and it can also create injuries. The rings will keep you honest. You cannot cheat on them. Use strict form and no momentum to keep maximum tension on the muscles. This is why I like the rings. They will totally give you away if you cheat with momentum, swing or bounce. The rings need to remain as still as possible. So that's it guys, I hope the rings have, I don't know, inspired you to incorporate them into your own training, perhaps. If you like these kinds of tips, or short little videos, let me know about them in the comments below, or give me a thumbs up, and I will continue to post more of these. Otherwise, happy training, and I will catch you, yeah, tomorrow. See ya, bye.